welcome back to the channel today we are in orlando and more specifically we're at the swan and dolphin reserve which is the newest hotel on disney property it's technically a marriott hotel but it is considered still to be a luxury disney resort so we got upgraded to one of the biggest rooms that they have here at the Swan Reserve. So we're gonna take you guys around for a look. First of all, when you first walk into the room, you're going to kind of come into this big, huge, open living area. And what's interesting about this living area is there's actually two TVs. We'll show you the other TV here in just a second. But right when you come in, you have this media cabinet where you can plug in and you can USB in and you can C cord in um, into this sound system and this TV system and project onto it. So if you were going to conduct business meetings or family reunion maybe or have like a PowerPoint show. You could do that from right over here on this giant TV. Now, down here we have some cups. We have an, our ice holder. We've got a drawer. We've got a Keurig with coffee pots, co coffee cups, all of the little fixings, and then two bottles of water. And it's Dasani, but it's Disney, so there's gonna be a lot of Dis Coke Dasani product. this week, so. Because they're Coke products. I prefer the smart water of the Coke products. So we'll see if we can find smart water later. And then down here, at the bottom of this cabinet, we've got some more amenities. We've got a microwave. I believe that is a safe all the way in the bottom. And then we have a little mini fridge, which is absolutely fantastic because there's nothing more that I like when I come back from the park on a hot day than to have a nice, cold, Refreshing Gatorade. That is my legit pro tip there. Legit. Okay, so moving on, we have the closet. We've got our our luggage rack. We've got an ironing board, and then we have a iron up here at the top, which is really cute. Um, definitely have a lot of space, so if you're going to be staying for a bit of time, you can definitely unpack and kind of hang up your stuff, which I think is really cute. So let's move on to the next part of this open floor plan here. This next area is just kind of right off of where we were just showing you guys, uh, but we have this nice big table that seats four, and I bet you could probably ask for additional chairs because you could still sit somebody on both ends, and these chairs are actually really comfy. They're very comfy. And just like how that media stand has plugs and USBs, there's actually plugs and USBs over here on this side. I'm not sure if they're on that side, but they're definitely right here, which is really cool. And it looks like this table could be expanded if you needed to, because it does look like it comes together. There's like a middle, middle joint here. It's very nice, I have to say. Like if you just want to sit down and have breakfast in your room, or maybe you want some want to like have a party in this room, have a birthday party or some kind of celebration, you could definitely do that at this table. So next up, we got the living room. So as you guys can see, we've already shown you the back part of this room. This room is actually really big. It's very spacious. I definitely would not feel cramped here if I had some other people staying with me, I think. Don't hold me to it, but I do think it would be pretty nice. It's nice and spread out. So, in this room, we've got a couch that is a pull-out couch, uh, and I don't know where the sheets and pillows are. We will have to locate those at another time, but this does pull out. There Dude. is a footstool here and then a little side table, probably because there's one here, and then you would just move that one over to the other end so that two people can sit on the couch and still have their things kind of spread out. We again have another TV. Is that Lost Girl on Tomorrowland? Why, yes it is. That would be where when we went to Cooperstown. Anyways, I'm being weird. 
Yes. You guys haven't checked out our Cooperstown video where we did, we did a road trip through New York State. You should go check that out because it's on the TV here. It's like the Swan is sponsoring Lost Girl. Hashtag not sponsored. So, that being said, the thermostats are digital. There's one here in the living room and there's actually one in the bedroom which we'll show you guys in just a little bit. All of the lights are dimmable which is kind of cool if you want like a little bit softer lighting in a room because that is really a feature you don't see in hotels a lot is to have the option of a dimmable light let alone a digital thermostat. This is the first digital thermostat I've seen but this is also the newest hotel I've stayed in so there's that. So what else can I show you guys? This artwork on the wall. Very California. California. I love California, but this is Florida. And that is, I think that's the vibe they're trying to go with, but it's kind of funny because we're in Florida and California is like night and day from Florida in a lot of ways. Well, it does remind us of the Anaheim Hotel we stayed at. Oh, Check yeah, that out yeah. in the upper right hand corner. When we came in, and we'll show you guys more of the details of the other features of the hotel, but the entryway was almost exactly like that JW Marriott we stayed at in Anaheim, which I loved. I love that hotel. It was a really nice day. So hoping that this day is just as nice. We do have an extra chair back over here. There's a ledge here. I don't really know what one would put here, but they do have plugs in this back corner in case you needed like some extra charging. You've got that here. And I believe that's pretty much gonna do it for, for the main living spaces. Next up, we're gonna go check out the bathroom. Hello. Welcome to my private office where I have meetings with the manager. Not really, but this is the toilet space. So it's kind of nice. Um, if you're going to have guests too, you can kind of close this off so that people can come in and use this bathroom without, and there's a pocket door on both sides. So this opens up right out to here and there's a lock on it so you can lock it as well. It does look like this is motion censored. I'll, I'll play with that tonight. I'm not really sure what it does, but yeah. It's so we got light. a little... Some night light for the room. Mm, I like that. I like that. The toilet looks nice. It's a nice little little corner office here with not much of a view. You can watch yourself if you're into that. So. Well, this is the second sink. So there's a solo sink just in the toilet area too. Mm -hmm. So you can wash your hands before you even come out of the toilet area. You don't have to even go into the shower area. Yeah, they can brush their teeth, wash mm -hmm. their hands. Because there's not a sink in the living room. So that, that's kind of a missed point. I think they might have, should have put a sink right there. A lip bar? Yeah, cool lip yeah. Anyways, that is our little corner, corner office here. So next up is the full bathroom. Right here we have our little corner suite, right? This is the main bathroom. And it's just a single sink vanity, but they do give you, this is how you know you're staying at a Marriott. Um, they give you cotton balls, but they didn't refill it with Q-tips. Usually there's Q-tips in here, so I kind of miss that. Um, they do give you cups, so if you're the kind of person who likes to fill a cup and swish, uh, you got that here. They do have their own Swan Reserve. These are just at the Reserve. I'm sure it's they probably do the same and just change the label at the other ones, but this is the Swan Reserve shampoo, conditioner, body wash, and lotion pretty cool because Disney kind of stopped doing little individual um, packaging which I think everybody was really upset about. Nice that Marriott is still continuing the tradition. We do keep down here is the towels which I have seen in a lot more Marriott's now they're doing like the wooded crate look um, and putting the towels down here. We do have a towel hanger, so not a bar, which, you know, whatever. There's a little bit of a bar here. And then this is the shower. So if you guys do stay here, don't pull on the big bar. I know it seems counterintuitive, but it's the little handle. That is how you open this. And it does look, right? It does look like it does have a rainfall shower head and then another handheld, which we, love 
and uh, there's a little footstool as well. A nice big handlebar in there. There is a hook that looks like in there if you're somebody who uses a washcloth, you can hang it up in the actual bath. And there's a light in the shower. That's, that's important because when it's dark in hotels, they're dark. We'll see how bright this one is. So I, I can appreciate all the little light fixtures. Okay, so next up, we're gonna check out the bedroom. So welcome to the king suite bedroom part of this room. Right here is where we just left in the bathroom. So this is the nice big sliding barn door that you have. We have nightstands on both sides of the bed. This side, it looks like has the phone and that side has the alarm clock. We do have these entrance, interesting sconces, sconces, I don't know how you say it, on both sides of the bed. And you just, they're old school. These are, these are old school, but still kind of interesting, I guess. A little interesting. There's a window here, window there, and then like a huge window there. So I can only imagine how bright this room's gonna get in the morning. We'll let you guys know at the end of this video what we thought about the lighting situation in here. But yeah, so we've got a king size bed and I'll test it. It's definitely a more on the firmer side for Marriott. I gotta tell you, this is definitely more firm than I'm used to. But we'll let you guys know at the end what we thought about the sleep, what it was like to sleep on this bed. The pillows, ooh, the pillows are foam. They listened to me. I requested foam pillows. I've been requesting foam pillows from Marriott for months now, and I never get them. I get feather. That's awesome. Cause the feathers just like completely deflate by the end of the night and they just go dead so quickly. Anywho, let's go finish the rest of this room. So we showed you the bed. This is the little workstation that is in the king room. I don't, I don't know what these are, but you can pick them up and you could break them. I don't understand that, but okay. We do have drawers. <laughs> Maybe we don't, Never mind. Um, so that is the safe. So the safe is actually right there. These are the drawers. They're kind of like that retro, like 70s style, I would say. And then again, we have more USBs. There's USBs on that lamp. There's USBs on that wall. There's USBs on the back of this. USBs on your side. My side doesn't have USBs, but the alarm mm -hmm. clock does. Mm -hmm. And then, if you guys want to learn more about the Swan and Dolphin, you can scan the QR code. It's a little dark. I don't think they understand how QR codes work. So yeah, so that is the basic layout. And then again, we have another huge, huge TV in here and a thermostat right here on the wall, which I absolutely love. So if somebody, again, is staying with you, they can control the temperature out there. You can control the temperature in here. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm pretty sure these are motion sensored like all the other ones. So we'll let you know if it stays cool throughout the night because that is always our biggest complaint at any hotel across, across the country, really. At night, the AC tends to turn off because it's motion censored. So we'll see how this works tonight. Next up, we're gonna show you guys the view. This room, ha because we're in a corner suite, we're like we're on the end, we have a window back there. We have a window behind Gary. So there's two windows right there. And then we have this huge window here. That's like, it's huge, it's a huge window. I love it, I absolutely love it. And across the street, we've got a cute little waterfall. We've got the swan and we've got the dolphin. And these are the original properties back here. The reserve is the new addition to these properties. I've actually never stayed at the swan or the dolphin. My, my sister has, so I'll have to ask her when she comes and visits what she thinks about this property compared to that property. And we're obviously going to get a full lay of the land. So if you're staying at the Dolphin, the Swan, or the Reserve, you do get access to all pools. 
all the amenities, all the fitness centers, so you can use your hotel key to access anything at any three of these properties, which is really cool. So keep that in mind if like you like the dolphin pool more than you like the swan or vice versa. You can check all of those out. And then down here, from what we can see, is like a little smoker hangout sitting area. And then you can see those people. That's how you walk across the street. And if you keep walking straight, if my memory serves me correct, you should be able to hit the boats to take the boats to Hollywood Studios or to Epcot, which we're going to Epcot tomorrow. So you guys are going to want to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss those videos. All right, let's go check out the other view. So the view from this window is repeated as in the bedroom, but I love these windows. They're just huge and they just let in a lot of light and I absolutely love that. And I was just talking to Gary off camera. I'm pretty sure this is still gonna be a theme park view because Epcot is that way. So if we play our cards right, will we see fireworks tonight? I don't know. We're going to Shula's for dinner, which we haven't been to Shula's since Valentine's Day like three, four years ago. So I'm excited to check them out again. So I don't know if we're gonna be around for fireworks, but if we were gonna have fireworks, I think they would come from that direction. So let's go take a look at the rest of this hotel because there is a lot of ground to cover. Getting out into the hallway, y'all. Pretty standard hallway. It's got that blue carpet that we've seen in a few different Marriott's. Flamingo. And a flamingo. Oh. Hashtag That's hopefully fun. you're watching, Nicole. There's a flamingo for you. Flamingo. Do you know they're pink because of scrimp? Scrimpies? Scrimpy, scrimpy. Mm -hmm. oh. We don't know how old Margarita is. There's the bar. There's the check-in. There's the check-in over there. Check out that hidden Mickey over there. come into when you get out of your vehicle and then you have to head upstairs to the check-in restaurant and all that stuff. There's a crowd event. Here's the entry area that you come into. What did you say Nathan? Hey you can see Tower Terror in the distance. And then across the way Swan and Dolphin. My room's over there. There is the Swan and Dolphin Reserve. It's a pretty building. I finally went downstairs and got the things that were on that list. Check out this size of pretzels. I mean, this is a whole, whole thing. This is gonna last me the whole week I'm here. We also got this big bag of beef jerky. Love it. And then in the fridge, we'll show you guys in a little bit, we got six, six beers. Six beers. And Hilton, I'm a diamond at Hilton, and they give me, not this, but they give me like a little, like one serving bag of Cheez-Its, is what Hilton does. A little bitter, but I absolutely love Mariano. I am sold, sold. Now granted, this is a resort, so there is more stuff here to pick from, and obviously it's a little bit fancier here, but if this was a Hilton, sometimes we're lucky if they even give us a snack. Yes, many times. We've not gotten anything. They're like, oh, we're sorry. Many, many times. We're out of the snacks. And then they're, they have like a whole cabinet full of stuff, and we're like, okay, well, I'll, I'm happy to just take something else, and they're like, oh no, we can't give you that. Anywho, I just thought that was really neat that we got that. And uh, I just became platinum. Yeah, I just became platinum with um, Marriott. So pretty cool. Here's the entrance area to the gym. You got your water bottle refill. You got some oranges, that's nice. Some flavored water. Cold towels, very nice. This gym is really nice, y'all. Let's go take a look. So here's the gym, y'all. Yeah? Wow, it's really big. 
got like four treadmills, two ellipticals, a white machine, one of those big old white machines. I got two benches. Here is the pool area outside. It's a nice little cabana area. Book trader. I wonder what kind of books they trade. There's some cabanas. And then there's the pool, yeah. Check out the back side of this hotel, it's beautiful. I love it. It's a very pretty hotel, I like the colors. Here's a little coffee area right outside the pool. It's got a mobile pickup. And some kind of basic sandwiches and hot coffee and stuff. We just made it to our new hotel. Check that one out in the upper right hand corner. We're at the Hyatt. Something, something, something. Yep. Yeah, Grand Cypress. It's kind of close to Disney Springs. Yeah, the Swan and Dolphin Reserve. What do we think about that awesome hotel? Yeah, that was by far my favorite hotel experience I've had in a really long time. It's a Marriott, so you get the Marriott experience, and you still get Disney magic. Yeah, the bar downstairs, really nice. The pool was really nice. Wasn't too packed for a Disney hotel. Plus, you get access to all the stuff at Shula. They would like Shula's over at the Swan and Dolphin, as well as the... Uh, the seafood bars, all the sushi the bars, pools, everything. All of the recreation between yeah. Swan Dolphin and the Swan Reserve. So you have three resorts to choose from. Totally worth it to stay at. Honestly, one of my favorite properties on Disney that we've stayed at so far. Now, we haven't stayed at the Contemporary Poly or the Grand Floridian. But, but soon. But soon. And definitely subscribe if you want to see us stay there. But definitely one of the nicest places we've stayed on Disney property and one of the nicer places we've stayed throughout. Yeah, I agree. And the bed was comfortable. We got sleep. They took care of the room when we were gone. Like, I cannot say enough good things. And if you guys want to hear more about that hotel stay, definitely check out our podcast, Awkward, Ch Awkward yeah. Chats. Awkward Chats. And you can find that on Google, Apple, Spotify, wherever you listen to your All the podcast. Good ones, yeah. The only downside to it is the food at the hotel is not good. Mm -mm. It's not good at all. But you can go over and go to the Swan and Dolphin, just the regular old Swan and Dolphin, and that has some really great restaurants. Yeah. So I guess that's the only real kind of downside to that hotel is don't, don't bother with room service. Yeah. So if you guys like this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. And make sure you ring that notification bell so that way you get notified when we do at least three videos a week. And we'll come and get you for the next one. Ain't that the truth, baby real? Bye, everybody. Bye.